Tony here. Today I'm going to tell you all of the titles that I picked up during the month of February. So with February being such a short month with only 28 days, we sure did have a lot of um, big releases throughout the month. Um, each week it kind of got bigger and bigger as the weeks went on. Um, so first up I'm going to show you all of these in order of release week. So the first week we did get Chicago the Still Book with a very nice looking red color. Um, we also got Warm Bodies. Um, the Lionsgate still book. We got Legion of Superheroes with this really nice looking slipcover. Um, from Kino Lorber, we got that Man Bolt. From Screen Factory, we got Bubba Hotep 4K release. We got The Return of Swamp Thing on 4K with a slip. Also got Pinocchio 964, which I really don't know much about. Um, but I did want to get this added to the collection. We got the Mickey and Minnie um, 10 Classic Shorts Volume 1 with the Disney 100 slip, which goes along well with the release of all of the other um, Disney 100 slip covers that I got from the Disney Movie Club. So happy to have that one added to the collection. And then I also added the Encanto Best Buy Exclusive Disney 100 Still Book. Which I, did an un which I did an unwrapping of. A lot of people um, are not very happy with those still books. Now the big release for week one, of course, was Black Panther Wakanda Forever. I did get the Disney Movie Club exclusive slipcover edition. The 4K edition with the slip. The Blu-ray edition with a different artwork slip, which I like the way that, that looks. I got the only at Walmart exclusive different slip cover with a pen. I got the two Best Buy Steel Book um, releases, which I really love the artwork on this one, but they're both great. Then they did a re release for Black Panther with this exclusive Blu ray slip cover edition for Disney Movie Club, which goes along with the other ones. And we got a Black Panther um, re release 4K Steel Book, which I love the artwork on that. And then um, from um, from Zavi UK, we got Captain America Winter Soldier Mondo release, Iron Man 3 Mondo release, Ant Man and the Wasp Mondo release, Thor Ragnarok Mondo release, and Captain Marvel Mondo release. So very happy to have those in the collection. Okay, fortunately week two was a lighter release. We did get the Paramount Presents um, Just Another Girl on the IRT. Really like those releases. Savage Salvation. The Fablemans 4K. Project Wolf Hunting with a slip. Then we got Strange World Blu-ray release with this really nice colorful slip cover. And then we got the exclusive Disney Movie Club um, 4K release with a slip. And I got the still book release from Zavi UK. I got the Jet Li, um, The Legend of Fong Sai Yuk 1 and 2 with a slip. Probably butchered the name on that one. And then from 101 Films, I got Scary Movie. I got this double pack. I got the Big Gun Down from Indicator and Enter Santo um, from Indicator. Okay, week three was another big week. Um, from Eureka, I got Magnificent Warriors with a slip. I got Violent Streets with a slip. From Viavision Entertainment for the imprint line, I got Resurrection, Hurry Sundown, and The Bad News Bears Go to Japan, which was my favorite release from, um, from Viavision for the month for imprint. Um, I did get the three Back to the Future still books from Zavi UK. These are the 4K releases with the original poster art which I really am happy to have those added to the collection. I got Empire of Light. I got um, the Magnificent 7 4K release from Shout Select. 
From Mill Creek, we got Requiem for a Heavyweight, which I really enjoyed watching this one. Sci-Fi from the Vault, four film collection. And Thrillers from the Vault, eight film collection. And then I got this four movie pack from Mill Creek Entertainment. Um, so happy to have that. I also got Running the Bases, the 4K release from Mill Creek Entertainment. I got the Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit 4K release with a slip. I got the Inspection with a slip cover, A24 release, which I enjoyed. I also watched The Old Way, and I really enjoyed this um, Western and Nicolas Cage's performance. I thought it was very well done. And I got the Retaliators, which I watched, and I really enjoyed this one. Really liked the slipcover on this. And so those are what I picked up during week three. Okay, and for week four, if you are a collector that likes to pretty much get everything that's released during the month, um, week four is probably the busiest week that I had as far as pickups are concerned because of some special Walmart releases. Um, but first up, the big release of the week, of course, was Rocky on 4K. So I got the Rocky UK Slipcover Edition and also the UK um, Steelbook release. Very happy to have that one in the collection. And of course, I had to pick up the Rocky Knockout Collection with all four films. Another release that I got was the A24 Hark um, 5 Film Collection with a slip. And then, of course, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 4K Steelbook Edition and this beautiful looking slipcover edition. And I, of course, another big release for the week was Training Day, the Steelbook release on 4K, the slipcover edition, and I got the Zavi UK um, hard box set edition with the different Steelbook on the inside. Um, we got the Adventures of Batman on Blu-ray with a nice looking slipcover. Whitney Houston, I Want to Dance with Somebody, Blu-ray release. I saw this one in the theater. I enjoyed it. Another big release for the week was Puss in Boots. I got the Target exclusive with the gallery book. I got the two movie collection. And I got the 4K release. Really nice looking slip. And then from Shop Factory, I got Kubo and the Two Strings Steelbook release. And also just the regular 4K edition with a slip. And another um, release from Shop Factory was the Box Trolls. Beautiful artwork on this one. And of course, the 4K release for it. And then another set that I had to pick up was more of the Disney 100 editions on Blu-ray. I did end up getting all of these added to the collection um, so that I would have matching slips for all of them, which I really like. And then the other big release for the week was a lot of re-releases for um, the John Wick films that were coming out uh, because of the new movie coming out. I got the John Wick um, number one with the dog slip, number two with the dog slip, and number three with the dog slip. And then I also got the other editions that came out. Um, John Wick with the silver and the black. John Wick 2, silver and black. And John Wick 3 with the silver and black. And then there was a three film collection um, that comes with the official license playing cards as seen in John Wick Chapter 4. There was a 4K um, there was a 4K set with this, but I chose the Blu-ray set to save a little bit of money. But the really nice release for John Wick is of course this big old um, stash book collection. I haven't opened it up. I'm not sure that I'm going to open this one up. But it does come with these three still books. So very happy to have that one added to the collection. And then we also got the Protégé with a slip. Escape Plan, two, um, three film collection with a slip. Now You See Me, um, one and two with a slip. The Expendables, three film collection with a slip. And Rambo, the five film collection with a slip. And then lastly, from Arrow Video, I got um, the Sisters Brothers with a slipcover. 
So those are all of the pickups that I picked up during the month of February. Like I said, it was a very tough month um, because of all these releases, but I definitely did not want to miss out on these. Um, in regards to the exclusive slipcovers, I know my Best Buy store that's an hour away that I had to drive to to get these only had two of each of the um, Disney 100 slips. So I had to be sure to get those. That's why I had to purchase those during the month. Same way with these John Wick Walmart slips. Um, the Walmart slips go really, really quickly. And so I had to go ahead and jump on those and get those. And the Target exclusive with the dog slip covers, there were plenty of those. I could have waited for those, but I had pre-ordered those during the um, last Target sale, which I don't think I got them on sale. But those are all the pickups that I picked up during the month of February. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about my pickups. And also let me know which of these are your favorites because I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.